Hello everybody and welcome to the Las Vegas Motor Speedway for the round of A opener here on NASCAR Heat 5 2023 Mods this is Career Mode Season Number 2 as we try to lock ourselves in the championship four for the second straight season. Of course, stories of the race for today are going to be Chase Briscoe as a friend. Harrison Burton is a bit slow today and a big news for the playoffs. Championship contender Denny Hamlin has to change his engine after qualifying and will start at the rear of today's race. Big implications there for Hamlin. He'll have to start from behind here at Las Vegas as you got to get ready to get underway. In the Best Buy Chevrolet right behind John Hunter Nemechek. The next play after is we're green and we are back underway here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. The green is out and we have begun here. The South Point 400. We start this race from 22nd on the outside of Ty Gibbs. Las Vegas historically has been a pretty tough track for us. We've had some just bad luck and just, some just not having the speed a couple of times. Hopefully I'm going to try to improve that today, try to bring home top 10, top 5 finish, and if we're lucky, a win is the goal to get ourselves enough points that is transfer on that championship four to be in the mix at Homestead. Now we're the outside of Ty Gibbs for P21, working that high line. You can get around him here, also trying to get the outside of the 77 of Carson Hosevar running in 20th place, which we will with a beautiful run on corner exit right there. We clear Gibbs, get to the outside of Hosevar, move our way up into the top 20 now. Here at Vegas with just 18 to go in stage one. Off into turn one, we're on the outside. John Harnimacek, another one of our playoff drivers, running 19th. Of course, Nemechek barely got in by four points of the round of eight, and now he's running 20th in the first race of the round. Not good for him. So we go by Busher. There's another playoff driver struggling to start this race. Kyle Busch running in 16th, the eight car, his second straight year in the round of eight, contending to advance to the championship four. Last season, of course, he could not get it done. Missed it by a good chunk of points. And now this year, he's trying to get redemption to get into that championship four. Bush 15th, worst back here in 16th, chasing him down. He's, him and Nemechek were the two winless drivers to make it this far, which is of course really shocking. A lot of winners the last couple of rounds have eliminated. Now we're on the inside of Bush and McDowell. We're looking for a top 15 position. We get to the inside of Kyle. And now in the three and four, we'll shoot by Kyle Bush on the inside lane and move into 15th place, securing a top 15 position. Now trying to get by the 34, Michael McDowell. Kyle Bush still there on our outside. We try to slide up a little bit of contact, a little bit too much there. My bad, came up way too much there, but we still clear him now. Next up, we're going to dive to the outside of Michael McDowell here for 14th down the back straightaway. He gives us just enough room for me to get there and get a run off of Josh Berry's draft and try to make the move here into three and four on the outside lane. This is where we've been running most of the race so far. We get to the outside of McDowell, trying to get to the outside of Josh Berry. Squeezes us. It's heavy side drive to go. I have a bow in the 48. He's chasing us down as well back there in 16th. He's got around Kyle Bush. Wants to get around me. McDowell. He's got McDowell's pinching us. They're running us out of room in the corner. Now McDowell's going to be sideways. McDowell almost wrecking. He saves it. In turn one, we stay green. Now we get a run to the outside of Josh Berry for 13th down the back, which we get to his right rear, right front quarter panel, and we're door slamming all the way down the back, just in the three and four. I'm trying to hold the position now. He can see that McDowell underneath us gives us a bumper, and McDowell completely moves us out of the groove here in Las Vegas. I do not appreciate that. So with our short fuse, he's clean out Michael McDowell in turn one. He goes around right in front of us. I have to hit go high to dodge. He's spinning. We get from Busher by McDowell, completely wrecking, wiping out guys behind us, and the caution. Will come out here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. And now we, myself and Ty Gibbs, the only two drivers to come down the pit lane to get four fresh tires and fuel. So we have to restart here in 39th and drive our way all the way back through the field as we're hoping no more yellows come out this stage. It goes green the rest of the way and then we'll have more fuel than the leaders do and we can finesse ourselves into a stage win. That is the ultimate goal. So hopefully that can happen. So we're going to go to the outside of Ryan Priest, squeezing us out of room and Yaley there working our way up in the top 30 now. Continuing to rip the top here in Las Vegas. A great line around this racetrack for us today so far. Now on the outside of Corey LaJoy for 31st. Zane Smith in a new paint scheme today. Number 71 WeatherTech Chevrolet. We go on the outside of him to move into 30th. Then chase down Chase Briscoe. Dive underneath him. Todd Gillen to Ricky Stenhouse. Incredible three wide move crossover on the exit of turn two right there to move into 27th. And we just door slam Stenhouse going to three and four. Trying to get to the top. This is absolutely my bad. I just did not see him there. Now we go to the outside of Le Denny Hamlin. We're going to the outside of Hamlin here. To move in the top 25. Of course, Denny trying to get these positions back. He started at the rear trying to make his way forwards to get some stage points. But he is struggling here in stage one. Nowhere near the front of the field. Not where he wants to be as we continue to move our way through the field. Slicing and dicing like bread and butters. Now we're 22nd. And we get a nice crossover on Ryan Blaney and exit of two. To go into position number 21. Heading to three and four here as Eric Jones leads here at Las Vegas, starting to get a win for Legacy Motor Club. And on lap 12, the Sydney Beach of McLeod blows a tire, and around goes McLeod to the outside wall, spinning and crashing, collecting Harrison Burton. They will both crash, and the caution will come out. So myself and Ty Gibbs will stay out 
All right, everyone else pitted, and we'll restart one, two here with just four to go in stage one. We have to go on the apron to avoid Tiger's Stride Records, and we clear Gibbs off in turn one. Hold the lead. I'm going to try to bring home the stage victory here in Las Vegas. Now, of course, we go on the next up. Three to go in stage one. Eric Jones, big run to our outside. We throw a block. Jones gets in the back of us into one and two, and then the 43 is going to lose control, and around goes Eric Jones. He's spinning behind us into William Byron. Two, three cars wrecking off into turn two, and the caution is out, ending stage one prematurely. We will win stage one here at Las Vegas, followed by Gibbs in second, Reddick third, Bell, Larson, Byron, Chastain, Almir, Kozlowski, and Jones are top ten. Of course, points of playoff drivers myself getting ten, Reddick getting eight, Bell getting seven, and Almendinger getting three. So four playoff drivers getting some stage points right there, but that's a huge stage points there for us. And so that will conclude stage one here. Now we're going to move on to stage number two. We pit. Me and Ty Gibbs have to come down to pit because our tires were too worn. We wouldn't have lasted that stage. We both had to come in, restart 39th to 40th. Tough break for us. Now we're trying to get back by the 78 of BJ McLeod and the 13 of Chandler Smith. As Gibbs just shunts us off in the corner right there. So no regard for our life at all. So now we go three wide in the middle of our two friends, Chandler Smith, Shane Van Gisbergen. Make that middle line work and keep on moving down the front straightaway to clear for position at number 34. Here at Vegas, now a few laps there. Go on the outside of Ryan Priest, Ryan Blaney back here. Going to get peaked to the outside of LaJoy. Get in there. Nice three wide outside lane move. Trying to cross over. Yaley Zanes hit four wide into turn three of Las Vegas. I do not recommend it, but we somehow made it work. And now we'll go to the inside of Todd Gillen for 27. Having an incredible drive through the field on fresher tires. This is like the third time we've had to do this today. We just continue to keep driving right back through the second half of the field here. Back up in the top 20. And by the end of this race, we might have the most cars passed out of any driver in the field. Then I go by Austin Sindrick in the 25th. Now underneath the 36 of Riley Earps. Had a pretty solid top 25 run at his home race track to get into 24th, which we will do. Now back to the inside of Carson Hosevar for 23rd. We'll make that pass to the inside as well as Ricky Stenhouse here for 22nd on exit of turn four here in Vegas in stage number two. We easily clear Stenhouse. That's nice on Noah Gregson. A few last there, we go to the outside of Noah Gregson moving into 21st place here. Trying to get to run the outside of Justin Haley to get inside of the top 20. Great run for the Rick Ware Racing driver. Justin Haley continuing to elevate that Rick Ware program to be solid mid-pack team instead of a back marker. So great job from him this season uh, doing absolutely what that whole Rick Ware operation needs to do to get up here in the mix to contend for eventually top 10s, top 5s, and maybe someday in a couple of years, maybe a win. Who knows? We'll see. Now Gregson squeezing us down the back stretch. Typical rival thing. I'm not too worried about it. I don't hold it against him. He's continuing on the outside. And Gregson at 3 and 4. Got a little bit tight right there. Got very tight on his outside. And we're going to make some contact down the straightway. He'll clear us. So I'll try to dive over for the crossover. Does not work. He will hold us off for 20th. Now into turn 1 and 2. We got Tyler Reddick here running in fifth championship contender from William Byron. Blows a tire, collects Tyler Reddick. Championship implications. Reddick goes crashing hard into the wall with William Byron. Reddick won the round opener last round. Now crashes early from fifth place right into me and Noah Gregson. And I instantly know we're going to be killed. Have a horrible restart with that damage he got out to the yellow. So he came down, pit, got tires, repairs, all the works. Restart here in 39th. Just slammed into the back of Shane Van Gisbergen. Uh, myself and Byron are the only two to pit. So now myself and Byron have more fuel and fresher tires than everybody else in the field. We can make the end of the stage. Everyone else cannot. So once again, like we did in stage one, we're having to hope that no yellow comes out. We can make it all the way to the end of the stage in green here. So 12 to go in stage two. We're trying to work by Zane Smith and Chandler Smith, which we will do the Smith boys. Right here off into one and two. We go by them. Three wide top. Make that pass by Cindric as well. Easily dropping right back into the top 30. As we now go our third <clears throat> drive right through the field once again. Uh, so like I said, we're going to pass the most cars out of anybody tonight. The amount of times we have to come from dead last to work our way back forwards into good track position. Now splitting Yaley and Briscoe in the middle. Three wide. We make that move nice and easy. Go by the two of them up into 37th. Sorry, 27th rather. Now next up, we go to the outside of Hosevar. Moving to 26. Go to the outside of Dillon. Looking for a top 25 position. And we will get around Austin Dillon to do that. And now we chase down the 47 of Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Go right to his inside for 24th. Make that pass nice and easy. And chase down the 36 of Riley Earps for position number 23. And so we go to the outside of Earps, get around him, take that position. Now chase down Ty Gibbs in the 54, and I believe in front of him is Ryan Blaney. So we got four rivals in front of us here. That's absolute gone that we got to go through. Gibbs, Blaney, Berry, and Gregson. My lord, this is going to be a tough uh, drive going past these guys. We get by Gibbs and Blaney pretty easily here through three and four to secure 21st. 
Now you're trying to go by the four of Josh Berry. We try to slide in between. Not room there. Make some contact with Blaney. Really squeezing out on the inside. Josh Berry side drafting down the front straightaway. Nine to go in stage two. Fighting for this 21st spot. Door slamming into one and two. But we'll eventually clear Berry and now go to the inside of Justin Haley for 19th as well. We caught Haley at a bad time. He'll get the run on the outside back here through one and two down the back stretch into three and four. But in the turn, of course, turn three here, we're going to clear Justin Haley and move into 19th place. We got cars coming down pit road in front of us. Our strategies worked brilliantly. Hemrick, Bush, Truex, Bell, a bunch of playoff drivers is pitted right there. So I move into 13th here. Next lap, the Nia Chase, all your leaders are coming down pit road. Everybody is in, and that'll cycle us out right up to the race. So lead as you block Ty Gibbs here. He's got a huge run. But we are now leading out Las Vegas with seven to go in stage two. Now, two laps there, five to go in stage two. Myself and, of course, William Byron, the other car on our strategy here, has caught back up to us. He'll go to the inside. We're just going to let William Byron by here. He's not in the playoffs. We're still going to get good stage points anyway, so we just let him by and just try to bring home a solid second-place stage finish. He's out of three and four of the final time. William Byron will win stage two at Las Vegas off of a brilliant strategy call, and we also benefit off of that, coming home second and earning a total of 19 stage points today. Absolutely tremendous job by our whole team. Then Bell gets eight points as well. They got Kislowski, Bowman, Larson, Hamlin, Busher, Kyle Busch, Nemechek getting stage points. So uh, we get nine points. Bell gets another eight to his total. Hamlin gets four stage points. Kyle Busch gets two. And Nemechek gets one. So that right there is five playoff drivers getting stage points. Big time. Now we start the final stage. Only three cars on the lead lap. William Byron, myself, and Christopher Bell with just 24 laps to go here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. This is because we trapped everyone a lap down with our strategy call there at the end of stage two. So myself and William Byron are pretty much guaranteed top ten finishes. And now we go to the outside of William Byron, clear him for the race lead, and drive away to begin the final stage of racing here at Las Vegas. Now the trouble the eight of Kyle Bush is blown a tire. Championship contender Bush around and upside down in the air, flipping end over end, toppling and tumbling into turn one goes Kyle Bush, bringing out the caution. Now on the ensuing restart, we no by, by the way, no yellow actually came out. Let me correct that. No yellow came out. Now we're trying to block the lap cars at Jones and race to Byron for the leader. Byron's right inside. We're all making contact. Myself, Jones, Byron, Busher, Hamlin. We're all sliding off into one and two. Byron and Jones around behind us. Byron will spin. And Hamlin just gets back on the lead lap right there in seventh. Right by us at a crucial time in this race. Now Gibbs gets by uh, back on the lead lap and into one and two. The caution will come out. We're going to let nine cars are going to be on the lead lap. As we start this final stint of the race, just 11 to go at Vegas as myself and Christopher Bell in the front row, both of us fighting for a spot in the championship four. A huge race here to the end of the race, a big time run to the finish here at the line, but we hold off Christopher Bell, take the lead here with 11 to go. Now we're trying to block the five of Kyle Larson a couple laps later, who's running second right on my back bumper. We're doing a great job of just blocking around this bottom. Coming out of turn four, trying to bring it home for a solid finish here. The controller disconnects into three and four. We slam the wall. We are destroyed. Our race is ruined all of a sudden. In the blink of an eye, we go from leading this race to heavy, heavily damaged and running in eighth. As the controller just disconnected on me going, in, going out of turn four. We slammed the wall like we blew a tire. And then it finally reconnected. And we got back going the right direction, but absolute disaster right there. So now we're here in eighth, trying to block Bubble Wallace here a few laps later in our attempt to back in. It gets too tight. We slam the wall, get into Bubble. It does not work, and we slide down to ninth here. Just three to go. We're trying to bring it home now. White flag in the air. Final lap is on my credit one back in Las Vegas. It is all falling apart for us, and we're just trying to salvage a ninth place finish. So it looks like Kyle Larson is going to get his first win of the season here in Las Vegas. Is out of turn four for the final time. Kyle Larson will win at Las Vegas here in the Heat 5 career mode, season number two. Of course, he's not in the playoffs. That does not affect us. And we're going to limp our way back home to the start-finish line here to salvage a ninth-place finish in a late race. Just disaster class. And we'll finish in ninth. Very disappointing here in Las Vegas. Not where we wanted to finish. And as you your final race results here. So it's a Hendrick 1-2-3. As Larson wins, followed by Bowman in second and Byron in third. Great day for Mr. H. Top playoff driver Christopher Bell in fourth. Huge day for him as well as a comeback effort from Denny Hamlin going from last to finishing in sixth place. 
Big point save for him. And of course, we come home in ninth. Last playoff driver in the top 10. Gibbs, Busher, Wallace, Chastain also get top 10. Shout out to them. Then AJ Allmendinger, a solid top 15 run, comes home 12th here at Las Vegas. Chase Elliott, not where he wanted to finish, finishes in 17th. John Hunter Nemechek finishes 18th. And Tyler Reddick, after that crash early with William Byron, will drop all the way to 21st place. But not as bad as Kyle Busch, who after that flip went three laps down, couldn't recover. Kyle Busch ends up finishing 38th, worst of the playoff drivers. He's going to have a steep hill to climb if he wants to advance to another championship four in his storied career. Uh, Joy Logano and BJ McLeod also DNF'd this race due to mechanical failures. Uh, shout out to Riley Erbst getting a top 20 and P20 there for that front row 36 team. Good effort from him tonight. Uh, but in the end, is Kyle Larson leading a Hendrick 1-2-3 finish here at Las Vegas. And uh, not the first time they've done it here. And we come home uh, for a ninth place finish. Still getting some good points. And now we're going to check out the f updated playoff grid. That's the opening race of the round. Heading to race number two, which will be at Chicagoland Speedway. And so there's that playoff grid. We are plus 106, well over a full race of the good. We are pretty much pretty much safe for the next round. I think we're looking pretty good. Christopher Bell, plus 23. Denny Hamlin, plus 16. The Toyota is looking very strong. Then Reddick on the bubble, three points above Elliott. Elliott out by three. Almendinger out by five. Nemechek out by 13. And Bush, a steep hill to climb, 31 out. Already must win territory. So until the next episode, I hope you all have a good one.